We film on ESPN tomorrow at 9 Eastern. This one is the story of UFC legends Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz and how their friendship turned bitter rivalry fueled the mainstream rise of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Kirk Cousins threw to Stephon Diggs for three of his four touchdowns, racking up a season-high 333 passing yards as the Vikings ravaged the Eagles secondary in a 38-20 victory Sunday. Carson completed 26 of 40 passes for 306 yards, two TDs, and an INT. He led four scoring drives and ran for 23 rushing yards on two carries, but it still wasn't enough. The Eagles and Cowboys are now tied at 3-3 three three atop the NFC East. They face off next Sunday. Max, mm -hmm. are you concerned about Carson Wentz? I am. I am. The Eagles' big issue right now is team speed. Okay. Both sides of the ball, right? Their secondary is not fast enough. Guys can run right by them. And without Deshaun Jackson, they really don't have a vertical passing threat. No one to take the lid off the defense, as they say. And, Stephen A., the problem is, <clears throat> you know how Peterson was given a lot of flack for, or at least criticism, for, or, or, or by way of explanation, people were saying when Foles was in, he simplified things. With Wentz, he's trying to do too much. In fact, what I saw was Wentz trying to do too much. Wentz is acting as though there is a vertical passing threat when there isn't. So he's forcing the ball down the field where it doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. They need much more of a horizontal passing game, mm -hmm. right? He should take those short passes. They're available. They could go down the field. But in the entire game, maybe there were two shots that he took down the field. Well, Actually, the entire game, you want to know the truth? I saw two good passes all game. Two good throws from Wentz all game. The, um, uh, there was down the field to, to Alshon, right? And then there was like a 15-yard pass to Zach Ertz. Maybe part of the problem is Wentz has heard the criticism. Oh, he just liked to pass to Zach Ertz, and that's the problem. And he's got a little bit rabbit ears or trying to disprove that or trying to be a better leader and not just favor one guy. Whatever it is, Stephen A., He's, he, he, it's Wentz trying to do too much, not taking what the defense is giving him and accepting the reality of his own offense. And I got to tell you, I think for the second week in a row where I've heard certain people um, uh, praise Wentz, I thought he was terrible. That's the second time. That's the second week in a row. His talent is obvious. He can do things most other quarterbacks can't. In fact, we talk about Deshaun Watson, and Watson has all that leadership stuff that I don't see from Wentz in terms of getting guys to want to play and all that stuff. But in terms of pure talent, other than Mahomes, Wentz is right there, if not number two, close to it, of all the young guys. He's been inconsistent, and this season, at least watching him, that's what I see. He's acting as though he's playing on a different team. They don't have the downfield weapons. I disagree with you. I disagree with you strongly about that because I don't think Wentz is the problem. I think their defense is a problem, and I think to some degree, some of the guys on offense, Nelson Aguilar, Alshon Jeffrey, they weren't getting separation. When you look at about eight yards per catch, you know, per, per catch or whatever, that's puny. They should, they could be doing better. He, <laughs> excuse me, he targeted Zach Ertz nine times, only connected with them on four occasions. That's usually a security blanket for him. I get all of that. We're also going against a playoff ready defense in the Minnesota Vikings. Um, by the way, who was it, Molly, Max? Was it Zach Brown that talked junk? About Kirk Cousins last week coming into the game? Yep. Uh, right. no, yeah, 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 yeah. For the Eagles, he should be ashamed of himself. After the post-game interview, very, very weak and pathetic on the part of Zach Brown. You're going to call out Kirk Cousins before the game. Before the game, then he shreds you, and then all of a sudden you got nothing to say. You want questions about the game. Excuse me, that was the game. Kirk Cousins threw for over 330 yards for crying out loud. He connected with Stephon Diggs all day long. Rasul Douglas, Sidney Jones, I mean, it was a bad day for both of those brothers. I mean, Diggs was giving it to them. They got it. Put completely obliterated and embarrassed. Uh, and you can't get Jalen Mills back soon enough. Uh, but in the end, what it comes down to is that the Eagles secondary, the same secondary that had given up 48 practically, uh, uh, you know, the same secondary practically that had given up 48 to the New Orleans Saints last year during the regular season before they stirred things in the right direction. They're looking eerily close to that right now as a secondary. They look absolutely pathetic. It's a They're problem. Slow. And so when you have a secondary that can't stop the pass, okay, that all of a sudden puts more pressure on your offense to do some things. I look at Wentz. It's not stellar. Please don't get me wrong. But when you say terrible, I'm thinking about the position that he's been put in. I'm thinking about guys that are not getting open. And I'm thinking about additional pressure added to his responsibilities because you got a secondary that's so porous, all right, it puts you under immense pressure to find a way well, to look, produce. Let me add one thing, too. Deshaun Jocks, uh, Jackson wasn't there. And he's yeah, not Deshaun Jackson. So they'll be yeah. better when Yeah, no, I, I mentioned there. that. Right. Deshaun Jackson not being on the field. Doesn't yes. have, he doesn't have the vertical – Threat, right? So That's you right. can't take the lid off the defense, as they say. Look, 
the, the four, it was a fourth and 15 to Ertz. That was a great pass. Mm -hmm. That great shot to Alshon down the sideline. Really, he should have scored. He was like, you know, tiptoeing down the sideline and couldn't stay in bounds. I, mm -hmm. I get it. But in spite of the eye-popping plays, he's leaving plays on the field all the time. And now I want to get to the leadership thing. Because remember what I said about Foles? And we were arguing Deshaun Watson, too. And I don't take this away from Deshaun. He has that Foles stuff in addition to other stuff, right? The, I call it the pixie dust he can spray. Mm -hmm. And it just the team wants to play for him. The Eagles start slow. They start slow when Wentz is in the game. What is special teams? A lot of that's like an effort intensity thing. What special teams, defense, they come out flat, especially early in games. And then I look at, and, and well, you're going to blame the quarterback? I don't know. When Foles was there, it seemed like everyone was juiced. And then you talk about pocket presence, right? Quarterback awareness, pocket presence. Nick, uh, sorry, Carson Wentz, just watch the game. Carson Wentz, you can see. He thinks the pocket is collapsing when it holds, right? And you see him bailing when it's like, no, no, actually the pocket held just. And then on other plays, he's holding the ball too long. Yeah, but as where the pocket's going to hold. But where you're his, making, his, but where, his awareness but where is you're making, no, you're wrong. And here's why I think you're wrong because guys are not getting open. So, in other words, if you see a rush coming on, normally when you have faith that guys are going to get open, Max, you can stand in the pocket. You can know you're going to get hit and still be willing to take it because you got faith that wherever you put the ball, they're going to get to it. Je Alshon Jeffrey looked slow as hell yesterday. Don't get me started with Nelson Aguilar dropping game-winning passes, even though that wasn't the case yesterday. And so when I look at that, then you got to take into account you have no pass rush right now. Your secondary is poor as hell. You take those four things into consideration, you got yourself a problem. If I'm Carson Wentz and I'm looking at myself thinking that I need to find a way to make a play, of course I'm going to look at it. They will get – you're right when you sit up there and say, okay, they're applying pressure, but it may not be, it may not be what he believes it. But what I'm saying to you is if I see guys gaining traction, that's one thought. The other thought that automatically comes into play, do I have faith you're going to get open? In other words, if I'm playing in a system where I can throw the ball here and I know you're going to be there, then excuse Wait. me, I don't feel that yeah, pressure. Yeah, I agree. Much. But Wait. if Cats ain't getting open, I agree. You got a problem. If I could throw the ball here, but he's trying to throw the ball down there to Aguilar as though that's Deshaun Jackson. It's not. He's taking deep shots to Aguilar down the field that he shouldn't be taking. And by the well, way. Well, why are you mentioning Wentz instead of Doug Peterson? I'm saying if that's the play that's called, that's the play that's called, right? Yeah, I, I, Peterson bears some responsibility, but a lot of people have put that on Peterson. He's trying to do too much with Wentz. I see Wentz because I also see, and maybe it's because he's taken too many shots and he's been too much of a tough guy. Wentz is a tough guy. But I also see him a little shell-shocked in the pocket at times. Like, and, 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 I don't like, see that. I, I, I have seen it with Wentz. Again, I know what it sounds like when one of us gets on a guy and starts to focus on him. Uh, like, uh, people think I have something against James Harden. I don't. I'm just – they come into your kind of, you know, view and you you pay cl close attention mm -hmm. to certain issues. I see it with Wentz. The team comes out flat. And right now, to me, he's not playing a smart brand of football, and also he's playing a rattled brand of football. He, I'm telling you, he hasn't been good for at least two weeks now. Are you now. more concerned about Wentz than Dak? No, because Wentz's upside to me, like he's capable of doing things physically. Mm -hmm. I, you could even see, I mentioned the two passes yesterday. Most other guys, even in this era of like very talented quarterbacks, dual threat quarterbacks, strong arms, everything, Wentz makes plays, you go, Phew, you don't see that every day. Yeah. He's a super talented quarterback in a way I don't think Dak is. But mm, Steven, I right now you? he's not playing More good football. More concerned with Wentz or Dak at this point, now that both teams are 3-3. Three and three. <sighs> Believe it or not, <clears throat> that's a t you know what? I can honestly say, Molly, I can't answer that question. Here's why. I have concerns about Wentz because of the team that he's around. Mm -hmm. I have concerns about Dak because of Jason Garrett. That's where my dilemma lies. Now, you yep. tell me who should be a greater concern. Should it be Jason Garrett? Because when we look at the Dallas Cowboys, there's no question in their talent. Mm -hmm. We know they have the talent. You have a talent issue with the Eagles secondary. There is a yeah, talent issue. The secondary issue. is a disaster. There, there's a secondary talent is a issue with the Eagles secondary. Mm -hmm. And there's a talent issue with their receiving core without Deshaun Jackson. So, if I, I'm, to me, that's not a Carson Wentz issue. That's a personnel issue. Dallas doesn't have a personnel issue. They have a coaching issue. 
pick your poison. Well, except that this week they did have a personnel issue in Dallas because they were missing both starting offenses. That's right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, they couldn't oh, oh, oh. run. They... Both offensive tackles plus Cooper and right. Randall Cobb. Right, plus your target. Right, right. So, of course, your right, passing right. game is good. Right. And then because of that, right. they can play the run differently. And so Got Ezekiel Elliott so was the defense. My answer to the question is you, you pick one. If, you, if I sat up there and I said to you, it's coaching in Dallas. Yeah. All right. Well, yes, they the personnel too. Yeah. But in, in, overall, it's coaching in it's Dallas. It's not a long term issue in Dallas. Personnel. Right. What we got? It's not a long term issue in Dallas in terms of the personnel. Then there's it's reason the for the Eagles concern. in the secondary. There's reason to be alarmed. Which is why I don't like it when folks are talking about Wentz this way because they're not paying attention enough to what he's lacking around him. That's a big deal in Philadelphia right now. They got personal. Howie Rose has got – I mean, we know what he could do as a general. He's shown it. But they got they got to address Look, that issue. If you want to talk about Peterson right. too, then – and I think the number one problem with the Eagles is a lack of team speed, particularly with Deshaun. Sure, that's fair. But both sides of the ball. Sure. That's the issue, right? I, I recall Bill Belichick coaching a team a couple years ago in the Patriots. Did not seem to have a lot of speed on defense. They figured it out but by the end of the year. Yeah, they, they figured, figured it, out. it out. I'm saying to your so point about the coaching, can it that's be figured on Peterson out? too, of yeah, course. Right, Got to figure right, it out. Right.